Hello friends, I'm Said. I'm photographer and I love taking pictures and I love travel too. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, for today's video, I would like to share about my knowledge, a little knowledge about my influence in photography. As far as I know, photography is all about painting with lights. In early days of photography, every images were produced by a wet plate colloidal technique to ensure the subject could be recorded or exposed. Sorry, I'm not a technical guy about this wet colloidal technique on the plate and then some few processes were made to reveal the image such a long process and the subject cannot move especially human during the session thanks to george eastman of kodak who invented the photography into new level everybody could take pictures okay enough for history what makes me to become a photographer firstly i love art i love painting I still clearly remember when my father introduced me about collection of uh, paintings from medieval era, Renaissance era, and uh, some of uh, painters that I really adore about their works. From there, I gradually developed my skill and my brain too, because uh, someone says when uh, you have a children, you teach about art, yeah neuron of the uh, in their brain will develop quickly mostly my influence is photography are based on uh, medieval painters and paintings who doesn't know about leonardo da vinci he's a revolutionary he's a great painter a great innovator i have six painters that i want to introduce you that really shape my style and career in photography. Firstly, Antonello da Messina. Number two, Raphael. Number three, Caravaggio. Number four, Guido Reni. Number five, Diego Velasquez from Sevilla, Spain. And number six, the most favorite painter that I really adore his works is Jean Auguste Dominique Angre. <clears throat> Jean Auguste Dominique Angre. What I can tell about his works, he's so adorable. I might say the level of realism is top notch. I was fascinating when looking his painting, especially the Napoleon one on his imperial throne. Okay, so in French, sorry if I pronounce wrong, Napoleon Le Seur Le Trône Imperial. This painting uh, was painted in 1806. A lot of questions wandered in my mind that time. And until now, how did he do that? The so detail, the color, the lighting, the contrast on this painting. So from there, I always careful when I taking subject, especially portrait, because I have a heavy influence from these painters that I know how to position, how to read the light, and I know how to compose the subject when I taking with my camera. My second influence is comic books. Is there any favorite comics that I love? <clears throat> yeah, sure. I have two comic artists that I think they are incredible for my photography skills and I still use their technique. First of all is Fujio F. Fujiko. His masterpiece is Doraemon. Number two is Akira Toriyama. His masterpiece is Dragon Balls. So, on the other hand, when we read a comic, <clears throat> we can learn about perspective that the comic artists do in every pages. They are not same. They are not repeat. So, uh, other comics like uh, Marvel, DC, also that influenced me in my works. So, from there, I could 
learn from comic artists they are great and appreciate what they have done to to give us an idea to create a photography a great images so I, why I still use this beautiful camera okay <sighs> it's hard to say but I might say this my color palette everything I need in this camera it delivers me a lot a lot of you know it's like a great investment when you use this beautiful camera old camera 2008 no problem but the dynamic range the color palettes in my term are totally outstanding so <clears throat> It's not outdated when people say use mirrorless with no. This camera still rock with my 50mm AFD, great in low light and also the 3D pop effect that the sensor if to me is totally good. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.